Good evening, everybody. I uh, This is the drone to be well pilot. And uh, I wanna start addressing certain issues here. Uh, I just now got this whipped up here. It says the FAA banned drones from flying at the Standing Rock oil pipeline protests. <sighs> Drone footage of clashes with police at the campsite have gone viral. Of course they're gonna go viral because the drones capture everything. They're the eyes in the sky. They captured everything last Sunday. Digital smoke signals. Myron Dewey. Probably one of the best drone footages of uh, clashes with the protectors and the use of water cannons. Somewhat um, crowd control tactics when we uh, clearly see that they're pointing the water cannons right at one single person and it's like there's they're only one in the open there. Now is that a crowd? You guys review the footage and look at it again. Let's continue on to this here. This weekend, the United States Federal Aviation Administration issued a temporary flight restriction. Now, when they say temporary, these, this must be a long temporary because ever since before the, before the treaty camp got invaded, when my drone got shot up by rubber bullets when they could not shoot it, and I put out that, la that uh, video of them that very evening, We've had this complication with FAA putting up these no-fly zone restrictions. But yet, the very next couple of days, that Thursday, airplanes and helicopters were flying, obviously, very dangerously low. And when the Buffalo came out that day, now, these helicopters are supposed to be in support of the law enforcement. Okay, now, does law enforcement, when do you, what do you consider support? Does this consider, like, the helicopters going dangerously all the way low? trying to run down and um, pretty much crush the horse riders as they're trying to, you know, run freely on the plains. Now, these are big, heavy aircraft, which can cause a lot more damage than a simple DJI drone. Now, think about that, guys. FAA, <coughs> whose side are you on? Are you biased, non-biased? Are you on the side of the protectors? Are you on the side of the drone pilots? Are you on the side of the Martin County? Let's, let's look at this, let's rewind it back. <coughs> Out of all this stuff, it's about safety. That's why these rules and these laws are regulated, right? Now, I'm gonna express, every time I go out, I fly with 110% safety. I am um, always aware where there's aircraft flying around I go really low. Normally I'll be flying like five feet above the ground. Now, that's not way in the sky where a helicopter is gonna be, right? So I cannot endanger the aircraft. But note this, once the law enforcement see it, the drones coming to them, they radio the helicopters and the airplanes to change flight path and to start going in the area of the drone so they can use that for an excuse. I stress that many of times. Yeah, I watch this. I'm really observant. <sighs> now, here's my statement about this. Drone to be wild is going to still be flying. He's still going to be documenting this. He's still going to be capturing all this evidence. And he's still going to be doing what he's doing. And that's going wild with the drone. Hovering around the cops. Capturing them as they're pointing sniper weapons towards the protectors. You know? And I'm gonna go over there and capture everything as it happens because it's my right and it's the drone's right. The First Amendment right. Now FAA, you think about that. The First Amendment right before you start banning drones. Think about it. What's more dangerous? A huge helicopter with a lot of gas in there as it crashes and burns? Or a simple drone which will just fall out of the sky and the uh, the most thing you can cause is a uh, propeller just hitting up somebody and, and causing you know um, cuts but it won't never go to that because this drone to be wild pilot here is pretty damn skilled at what he does and I've been flying every day to prove my skills to the world and the world sees it and I will continue to fly I will continue to cover all this that's my first amendment right 
that's what's gonna cover me. And as you can see it, live feeds. Watch, watch me fly. Watch what I do. You'll see if there's, is there any danger about it? The only thing that's in danger is the people that have weapons. Now, that's my live statement to the FAA. You guys have a good night. <clears throat> and uh, There's a question on here that you might want to address. Oh. <clears throat> and that is that you can, supposedly according to this one viewer, that you can actually petition <clears throat> for permission from the FAA to fly your drone. What do you think the likelihood is that that's going to be approved? Uh, how would I petition it? There's actually a way that you can. All go many on drone and, pilots, or just pretty much everybody that's in camp that can write a petition for it. You can actually. They're saying that you can actually um, ask for permission to fly your drone, even though it's a no-fly zone for anything other than military aircraft. What do you think the possibilities are that that would be granted to you? Ooh. Zero. <laughs> Most likely, everyone says zero. But you know what? Though I think the FAA does respect what I do. They just don't want to see it because I remember about three months ago I got a call from them. And uh, the North Dakota FAA guy, before he stated the rules to me, he said he loved what I was doing with the drones. Now that's coming from an FAA guy. So maybe I should pick up on that, uh, this guy's uh, question. Um, if I have to, um, if I have to, can my followers uh, whip up a, a statement, uh, a petition for me, and, uh, and uh, inbox it to me, and have it ready for me? And uh, we'll get this uh, petition going. If we have to have a thousand signatures, we'll make it viral. And uh, trust me, the whole world's behind my back and everyone will sign that paper. And to all you haters who are on this page and who like snooping in on our stuff, all I gotta say is, uh, can you fly a drone? No. Just, you know, sit back on your TV and watch the world change right in front of your eyes. Any other, any other, any other, uh, Questions out there for everybody. Actually, we have somebody, a couple people who said that they're going to get something for you and inbox it to you. Thank you. What are their names? <clears throat> Let's see if I can scroll back here. Um, well, I have several people that say they're going to sign it. Gina says she'll sign it. Cool. Once it's up. Well, let's see if we can make one that goes uh, viral where we could sign the petition. And then just keep sharing it and sharing it. Fawn says she'll sign it. Fawn Kissimmee says she'll sign it. I'll sign it. Everybody's going to sign it. So that's and what I want. That's what um, I want. Trish Duffield says I'll research it and get you info if you'd like. Yes. So yes, yes. Do it, Trish. What mm -hmm. I want to do is make it um, pretty much a shared uh, petition. We could spread it around to the drone page, drone community, and pretty much everyone at the camp will sign it. You know. It's the uh, yeah, thank it's you guys. It's called HTTP Drone Law Journal .com. That's from Karen Kadina. That's um, sorry if I mispronounced her name, but that's she actually Drone Law Journal is where the information is. So we appreciate that. D says she'll sign it. Lonnie says they'll sign it. Great. Emma Phillips. Thomas says we got your back. All right, I know I know my whole followers on this drone page and my personal page and the Indigenous Rising page. A lot of people really do respect what I do. I know I'm going jumping through hoops. I know I'm kind of flying over and uh, below uh, FAA regulations and rules, but uh, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to push this FAA rules and policies to the limit. Somebody's got to push this drone technology to the limit, and I'm going to be that person because... That's my life mission to do. This technology we have, we gotta push it. You know, these rules and regulations, we gotta push it. If there's a really skilled pilot out there, don't let a few rules and regulations hold him back from, you know, creating something so beautiful and magnificent, you know, with technology such as drones. Now, let me really need to remind you, the other day, I haven't put it back up, uh, they took it down, but uh, my Phantom 4 recently bought to $1,200. Took it up for the oh, second flight into it. Flew around the uh, Turtle Hill. And uh, as the, like I said, the Phantom Fours I have, they're like the hawks that come in. And they, they you know, they swoop in like hawks and eagles. And they, 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 you know, they take out their prey. When I say take out, that means documenting. So don't get anything crooked here. Those pro dapple people who like snooping in on the page. But uh, they got shot up. They, they're learning though. Morton County is learning. I'm going to give them that. 
The first time they shot it up, I even got really close to them and they couldn't even shoot it. Everybody, you guys remember that, right? If you guys do remember what the footage I'm talking about, just do some uh, screenshots of that and post it in the comments and people will see which video I'm talking about. Clearly embarrassed all of them. You know, Martin County's finest. They all need to go back to the shooting range. But, like I said, I gotta give it to them. You know, they're, they're, they're using their brains finally. Now they upgrade it to shotguns, which has uh, pellets that burst out of the barrel and spread out. So they're guaranteed <coughs> to shoot it, even though they're off an angle or two or a centimeter. So the Phantom 4 ended up getting shot. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys seen uh, uh, a few of my followers actually uh, edited some posts. Uh, repost those pics on this comment page too, guys. So everyone will know what I'm talking about as I read all this. Um, they shot up the propellers. They shot the pet props up. They shot in the... If I shake the uh, Phantom forward, there's still pellets inside. I haven't yet opened it yet, but it still flies. But my, my job right now is I'm going to open it up and put those little pellets in a baggie. And those are going to be the evidence right there. Uh, they shot the filter screen, but they didn't shoot the camera. So pretty much that, again, my drone got shot at and it was still flyable. But I just need some new props up there. If anyone's uh, kind enough to uh, throw, throw the pilot some props, because... I have a feeling we're gonna go through a lot of props, you know, and um, just some filters. I got some filters myself, but you guys, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. But if you want to, I love that. And um, but yeah, they're shooting at the drones. They don't care. Uh, I had a top secret radio, and um, we were listening in on the radio. We were listening in on Martin County. You think they're trying to be secret? No, we're all transparent here. I'm gonna tell it all. We listen to everything they say. The drones are the eyes in the sky. We pers I personally heard it myself. I think I did a live feed on it. We, ne we need to start taking down these drones, quoted by the Martin County, whoever was on the radio. We need to start taking down these drones because they're giving up our locations. And then a few minutes later, they got back on the radio again. These drones are just getting too hardcore. We need to start shooting them down. So there it is, guys. Now, did the FAA let them know, notify that? Did they know about that? No, basically they're just making their own rules. They're breaking their own rules. It's, they don't care, but they love, they love, they love to force their laws and rules on us though, right? So, is this country free? No, it's not. We're literally fighting for our freedom. We're fighting for our freedom in an area right there that's, when you enter that camp, it's the best freedom in the world, in the whole world, in the country. You could go there. And you, you, you disconnect yourself from everything. You disconnect yourself from money. You disconnect yourself from bills. You disconnect yourself from everyday stress. All these, all these uh, connections and all these illusions that are created, this government system that's created to oppress and, and to squeeze and, and, and to stress your soul out. That's why we cannot live the way as true human beings can live because we're oppressed and we're being squished and we're being controlled and we're being forced and we're being limited by this government. Now they talk about this is the land of the free, home of the brave. That just went out the window. <coughs> Let's think about that. The true freedom is indigenous freedom. The, the original rules, laws of this universe was created. And there was the next rules and laws and that was the laws and the rules of mother nature. Now that is where the government needs to uh, look into that. Because you don't need, when you have the rules of mother nature and the laws, we don't need to uh, forcibly force those upon the people or the animals or the plant life or the water because we all know it, we accept it and we feel it and we know it. And that right there is true freedom with laws and regulations that you don't need to force or control. It's well balanced into a system. With that said, I'd like to thank everybody who's tuning in and um, get that uh, petition out there for me. Um, let's share it around because we need to have drone pilots up in the sky no matter what. Just like they say, don't shoot down drones no matter what the situation is. Well, in this case, Drone Debbie Wallace says, no matter what the situation is, we're going to need a petition to get up there and protect our protectors with these drones. And uh, with that said, I want to uh, give a shout out to my sponsor, Drone Gear. Um, Alex, 
He's a wonderful human being. If he sees this live feed, thanks, bro, for everything you do. And not to mention all you people out there who tune in every day and watch my stuff. I love you to the bottom of my heart. And I thank you for everything you guys do. And I appreciate it 110%. And I know you guys message me, and I personally try to get back to every one of you guys. And I find it more faster to just record what I say instead of typing it in. Because, oh, man, you like this all day. Man, it gets tired, you know. But I try to get back to every one of you guys. And you guys do feed me a lot of information. That's what everyone says. Have you gone to the meeting? I was like, I don't need to go to a meeting. I don't need to go to a press release because I already know it. People let me know. So that's how valuable uh, of sources I get in 24 seven. So with that said, I wanna um, give a shout out to everybody at the camp, staying warm. Uh, when you look outside, it's, uh, it's pretty breezy. So that's what we gotta get ready like this. We got our goggles on. We're ready for winter. We're ready for droning. All right. Good night, guys.